description of the, uh, the man who had the it shot. It wasn't until the evening that authorities received their first clue to Thompson's and Yaden's actions. A local paramedic contacted Talladega City Police and told them about his ordeal. He said that earlier that day, he was driving near Talladega when he noticed a sheriff's patrol car following him. When he heard the siren, the off-duty paramedic pulled over. He believed it was a routine stop. asked for his license and wallet. Paramedic Bob Gortney didn't think he'd been speeding. The reason we pulled you over is your vehicle fits the description of a vehicle that was involved in a hit and run. And I told him, well, I haven't been in any accident. You know, you can check my truck, you can look around, it's not a scratch on it. And he said, well, your truck fits the description that we've gotten, so we're going to, uh, you know, check it out. Gordon, he didn't suspect anything. No flags went off when he first walked up to me because he was in full uniform, had the badge and the name tag, and I really didn't make contact with the whole uniform. I seen the gun when he had his hand on it. Gordon gave the deputy his paramedic badge number, asking him to call in to verify his identity. But the deputy refused. Following the deputy's orders, the paramedic got into the patrol car. He believed it was simply a misunderstanding and that he would be released shortly. He said, well, we're gonna carry you back over here to the accident scene. And I said, well, that's fine, you know. My truck doesn't fit the description. We'll just get this cleared up. He first realized something was wrong when a man in civilian clothes carrying a shotgun ran from the patrol car to his truck. Okay, let's start with the From the description, police believe the man driving the pickup was Roger Yaden. They believe Michael Thompson was the one dressed as the deputy. Thompson followed the pickup with the paramedic locked in the back. What the deal is, you can have the truck. Courtney asked for an explanation. Keep it quiet. He said. We're just going to take your truck. And I knew right then it was a kidnapping. This guy has kidnapped me. So I went into the pleading mode, you know. I told him, I said, look, you know, I'm only 30 years old. I've got a wife and kids. And you have my truck, you have my gun. Um, there's no sense in killing me. Michael Thompson followed behind to an isolated spot off the highway. Roger Yaden had found the paramedic's 9mm handgun in the truck. Bob Gordney was helpless in the patrol car's locked back seat. The men forced him inside the cruiser's trunk. The kidnapped paramedic believed they were going to kill him. I was laying there at the point, so if I shot through the trunk, I knew they would miss me. You know, I, if a bullet was to come through, maybe it would graze me and not hit any vital organs, so I was trying to protect myself from the point of being shot through the trunk. And I could hear vehicles pass by, and then I heard my truck crank, and then I heard it sped off, and it was hot. I felt like I was suffocating. I kept thinking to myself, you need to slow down, because if you don't, you're going to use up all your energy. And Plus, it's hot in here, I'm gonna dehydrate, and I'm probably gonna pass out. I was scared, I was shaking, and I was laying in the trunk, and I got to thinking, okay, you're a paramedic. You've extricated people a thousand times. Now it's time for you to do what you've learned to get yourself out of this trunk, to extricate yourself so you can still be alive. Using a jacket found in the trunk, Courtney worked for two hours. Mm -hmm. 
Finally, he popped the trunk open. He ran to the nearest house where a woman called police. An updated bulletin was issued for the pair of fugitives in the black pickup truck they were now driving. 232 to all units. This is a broadcast for 0900 suspect. They were two armed with two 9mm handguns and a shotgun. Authorities sped to the main interstate, figuring the fugitives would use it to flee the area. With a stolen truck full of gas and interstate highways nearby, law officers knew that Michael Thompson and Roger Yaden had a big lead on them. They could be anywhere. <laughs> 